While I was waiting for some of the equipment to arrive, I decided to make an interesting little thing. Let's see what happens, but the process involves a lot of small parts, so I'm sure it will be fascinating as always. Welcome to the WNDM channel. Finally, the keyboard arrived from Germany. It is seriously cheaper to order from there. Now I can create some music for our music box. While I was waiting, I decided to do a little experimenting. I found a bar of steel 45, and I will try to make a spark wheel out of it. Of course, this one is way too big for what I do, something much smaller. I've heard that this kind of steel can be hardened the easy way, namely without exact temperature control. I don't need to do any tampering, although technically it is generally required here. As always, we grind and drill out a 1.5 mm hole. The diameter is only 4 mm, we remove all that's unnecessary. And prepare a place for the cutter to exit when cutting the teeth. We will use this kind of mill. It is a dovetail with a 45 degree angle. I think it's just right for this job. So that the teeth have an acute angle, we lower the cutter just below to the center of the workpiece. As I have mentioned before, I made the dividing head using the free GRBL GRU program and Arduino. First time it cut the teeth too thin. There were way too many of them. On the second go, I got two times fewer. We do the annealing with a simple gas torch. Thankfully, the size is very small. We're going to use water to cool it down. It did not come out perfect, but it is very small. Let's see if it works. The large spark wheel also has some kind of spiral stripes. I wonder what they are for. Now we take brass, a bar with a diameter of only 8 mm. This will become the body of our lighter. In the center we drill a blind hole, then mill it out to the diameter we need. Considering the dimensions, we will do it with an accuracy down to the 0.01s. Cut out the spaces for the thread and the rubber O-ring. We cut a little bit off from the body. Later, we will make a pattern here. On the upper part of the body, we leave some space for milling. Here, there will be two holes, for the weak and the flint. The first one easy, the second one will take a bit of tinkering. We reduce the diameter for the thread for screwing the cap on. We will cut the M1.4 thread on all the parts with a profile height of 0.16 mm. Remove the workpiece and go to the milling machine. First of all, we need to drill a hole for attaching the spark wheel. With an impromptu center finder, we find a reference point and move to the coordinates we need. First, with the mill we create the direction, so we don't have to worry about the drill going sideways. We remove a little from the back with a 5mm mill, so that the finger fits well. Now we center the workpiece so that the axis of the attachment of the spark wheel and the horizontal groove create a right angle. The diameter of the cutter is 2 mm and the thickness of the spark wheel is also 2 mm. We will go right down the middle. The wind protecting wall will be very thin, definitely can't rush this. We drill a 2 mm diameter hole for the flint, and then from the bottom we mill it out. 
slightly further the same hole for the wick. We will slightly widen its upper part. Canonically, we need to make a horizontal slot for air access. Although with this size, it is more of a decorative element. It turned out rather well. Now we may allow the hole for the flint from the bottom. The most difficult part now is hitting the center. A small life hack here is to remove the screw fixing the collet. Now through the holes in the spindle you can clearly see if you hit the center. From a thin bar we can now cut a guiding tube for the flint and the spring. The flint is a little larger in diameter than 2mm, but smaller than 2.1. We grind it a little. The outer diameter of the tube will be 2.8mm, and the length slightly longer than the length of the body of the lighter. Before soldering it, we mill a thread from the bottom cover on the body of the lighter. Remove the chamfer and check the thread. Now we cut the outer thread for the top cover. Make the thread into two passes, so as not to break the cutter. We cut the M2.5 thread in the tube for the screw fix in the spring. Threads are ready, we can start soldering. We heat it up on all sides slowly, so that the solder spreads evenly. Now we grind it to prepare the bottom cover for the thread and make a little space for the knurling. I love the way this knurler works, without much effort and it makes a very clear, even pattern. We mill out the cover a little bit and add more useful volume and some space for the guiding tube. We cut it off with a bit of a margin to cut the thread and to fix the body on the laser machine. Thread doesn't always come out right on the first try. If something goes wrong, we add 0.02 and cut it again. I found a ready-made pattern on the internet and decided to apply it to the body circulary. I periodically check the temperature with my finger, because the laser can sometimes warm up the parts quite a bit. I miscalculated on the diameter of the part and the length of the pattern a little, but the joint is where I wanted it. I like the idea of a circular pattern. We can experiment with it on other parts. The holder is not needed anymore, so we cut it off. We need only a small piece of the screw to tighten the spring. I decided to cut it off on a lathe, but it was an epic fail. The thread spreads out over time and we get an unpleasant surprise. It's better to do it in the old-fashioned way, even if it is not as even. The spring of the large lighter needs to be shortened a little. The spark wheel fits well, and that's already great. We will fix it with a rod, and if necessary, the spark wheel can be replaced. The spring barely moves, but when it is loosened, you can turn the screw in deeper. Well, here is the first unpleasant surprise.
Either because the spark wheel is small or because the edges are not very sharp, there are barely any sparks. Nevertheless, we will put it together and see if we can ignite it. Ideally, the wick of course would be thinner, but I did not take it apart for now. We will try to fit the whole thing in. There is not a lot of space inside the case, but we will follow the design of the classic version. We stuff cotton in, insert the O-ring and screw on the cover. Everything fits, now we can fill it with fuel. We try to ignite it and get the final surprise. There is not enough sparks to ignite it. What causes this is still not clear, but we definitely need to change the spark wheel. Most likely, the amount of sparks it makes is just not enough. I could just edit the video and no one would notice anything, but I think that would be cheating. Now the work needs to be completed and we still need to make the cap. The lighter is small and it's logical to use it as a keychain. So we make a hole in the upper part of the lid to attach it. We make the knurling so it's easy to screw or unscrew and cut it off with some margin. Now we cut the thread and drill a hole for attaching the chain. At some point I bought a whole sale of these chains and it just fits so well here. Now the final assembly. The product turned out to be kind of neat, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I will try something behind the scenes to bring it to life. I will make a few versions of the spark wheel, maybe everything will work out. If I succeed, in the next video I will show you the finished version. But now it's time to finish the music box, since I now have everything I need to do that. Bye bye for now.